Hello, welcome back. So today we can check how to prepare for the Udu certification. So first of all, who needs to take this certification? So if you are a functional consultant, technical lead, team lead, techno functional, or a developer who handles the clients directly, so they have to take the certification. It's not mandatory, but uh, if you take, that will be good. So simply, whoever handles the client or whoever does the freelancing for the clients, then if they have the certification, then that will be good. So the second thing, what are the benefits of taking the certification? Enhanced knowledge and skills, career advancement, you will get a better job or a salary, professional recognition, increased confidence level, more clients and work. So next is the certification details. So the price is 23,000 something including the GST and uh, the total time 90 minutes. So you will have to take 120 questions and the pass mark is 70%. So how many modules we have to study or how many modules or uh, related questions that will ask in the certification that is website, e-commerce, survey, marketing, CRM, sales, purchase, project, timesheet, accounting, inventory, MRP, HR, spreadsheet, POS and studio. So while studying you have to focus on uh, these modules and its functionality. So we can discuss about the point details. For the correct answer we will get one point. If it is wrong it will cut half point and if we are not answered then zero point nothing. So we have to out of uh, 120 questions we have to make 84 question correct without any wrong answer then only we will pass the certification. So if we focus on that particular 84, 84 correct answer then we have an option to skip other questions if you are not sure about the answer then we can skip the rest, rest of the questions so the next is how to prepare for the certification so first we have to watch the functional videos read the functional documentations explore Udo by going to the run board and check the latest version or the certificate which we want then take some practice test and do the certification So the reference I am giving here like uh, Udo Learnings we have. So Udo Learnings is this. This contains all the courses like uh, all the videos of CRM, Sales, Purchase. So these are module wise. So if you go to this. You can see some videos and uh, after each video we have a a quiz model type so we will get the points also so first I will suggest you to take uh, see watch all the videos and take the quiz so the second is Udo YouTube channel so Udo has a YouTube channel it's also contains some videos functional videos and all you can refer that and uh, next is Udo documentation so Udo have a well uh, designed documentation for each module so you can check this udo.com slash documentation so there is also you can see user documents accounting inventory module wise documentation you can see next is udo run board so after watching the video and uh, reading the documentation we have to explore that right we have to practically do that so for that we can use the udo run board and uh, go to the latest version or whatever certification you want in which version you want the certification you can explore that next is take some practical test so for that in Udemy you can see there is some uh, courses Udo 17 certification practice test so if you take this questions if you take this course then that would be better you can see there are lots of questions 
56 question 85 question 62 question so these are many questions so we can just practice this next the common mistakes uh, all are doing while preparing or while taking the certification first is overconfidence that i know everything that type of mentality next exploring only udur and boat so many people will do practical only they will not watch the video they will not check the documentation whatever they will do practically or they will test practically only then not taking the practice test once we learn we have to practice the test then only after that only we have to go for the certification then finding answers while appearing the test so while appearing the test you don't have to go to after each question if you don't know the correct answer you don't have to go to the udo and check the answers because it will take time it will took time and the timer will run in last you will not get time for uh, to check the question or to answer the question then the next mistake is answering all questions so many people are uh, do like that answering all questions if we know if we don't know whatever we will answer the question then not taking the count of answers unanswered or or uh, doubtful questions so while taking the test we can we have to note how many i know a hundred percent how many i am sure and i am answered what are the questions or how many questions i have unanswered what are the doubtful questions so what we have to do while doing the test first we have to we don't have to uh, look or look for the solution if we know that then mark it then continue so after all we have a count what like how much i have answered and how much i need to answer for passing the exam so after one round we can check that So that's it for the certification. Thank you.